hematoma the most common cause of hematoma pinna is trauma where exactly in case of boxers wrestlers there will be trauma to the pinna external trauma will be there to the pinna in these conditions what happens the, there will be collection of the blood in between collection of the blood in between your cartilage and its covering perichondrium so to understand this first of all you need to know exactly what the pinna comprises of it, in center there will be a cartilage piece right in the center if you take the pinna there will be a cartilage in the center right in the middle there will be cartilage and this cartilage okay the greener one is the cartilage i am denoting it in green color the cartilage piece okay so this is your cartilage first of all then surrounding the cartilage you will be having then surrounding the cartilage you will be having a perichondrium attached to the cartilage see cartilage itself is cannot get any nutrition right it is just a cartilaginous structure right is a mesodermal derivative for it for the nutrition of the cartilaginous cells its overlying perichondrium is important so each and every, wherever there is a cartilage it will be lined by a perichondrium so on either sides there will be perichondrium right and uh, on either side of the perichondrium you will be having a skin lining is that clear so this is what when you take a cross section of the pinna and you see these are the arrangement of the structures in the pinna so now what happens whenever there is a trauma sudden trauma the microvasculature which is present here in the perichondrium they will get ruptured and all the blood will be collected over here in between the cartilage and the perichondrium in between the cartilage and perichondrium remember the two layers in between cartilage and its overlying perichondrium this is the reason the perichondrium is tightly attached to the cartilage so even a small amount of blood that gets collected in between these two structures will cause intense pain to the patient so this is the reason why the patients of hematoma or perichondritis will be having severe pain slightest amount of collection in between these two tightly attached structures will cause more amount of pain right so the clinical features of the patient will be first of all pain will be more okay there will be severe pain of the patient and uh, there will be swelling you can see a swelling on the pinna the treatment for this condition is immediate incision and drainage needs to be done why immediate incision and drainage you have to drain out the fluid and you have to relieve the pressure inside otherwise due to the pressure constant pressure on the cartilage the cartilage will get neck crossed once a small area wherever the hematoma is found if that area in that area if that particular cartilage piece gets neck crossed the shape of the pinna is going to get deformed accordingly so what happens it will give rise to a uh, here the particular appearance of it will look like a cauliflower so that's why this here is called as the, the necrosed cartilage will give rise to a particular appearance of the damaged ear that is called as cauliflower ear or it is also called as boxer's ear or it is also called as wrestler's ear what is tropical ear what is singapore ear diffuse otitis externa that means inside the external auditory canal if there is a diffuse infection of the external auditory canal skin that is called as tropical ear or singapore ear but this is a pinna the hematoma of pinna due to the constant pressure over the cartilage ne pressure necrosis of the cartilage piece will occur that will lead to deformation of the pinna external structure and that will give rise to deformed pinna which will look very ugly that uh, will appear like a cauliflower this is called as See, otomycosis is a form of otitis externa. In otitis externa, you will get otomycosis. Whatever it, what is the name itself? Again, don't try to buy it. That is what I am saying. Try to understand the nomenclature. Otitis externa means external ear infection. That's it. Okay, that is otitis externa. What infection? If it is oto, it's otomycosis is a form of otitis externa. Clear? is your malignant otitis externa is a form of otitis externa these are the subtypes under otitis externa is it clear okay so this is about your cauliflower ear or boxer's ear or 
So the complications here, if you do not do immediate incision and drainage, complications will occur. The ear will get malformed and it is called as cauliflower ear or it is also called as boxer's ear or it is also called as wrestler's ear. I hope this condition is very clear to you. Okay, any MCQ from this topic will be answered easily, right? Thank you.